All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. A famous rapper is accused of assaulting a woman after claims that she stole his money. A California man is facing charges of stealing hundreds of gallons of gas, and police say he came back for more until he got caught. Another man in the same city goes on a crime spree with a home invasion and carjacks an Amazon delivery truck. And an Oklahoma man is dead because of a threat made about Bigfoot. It's crime that can happen anywhere at any time. And you get it straight up right here on your Intrigued Full Effect Crime News Update. I'm Shandrea Thomas and welcome to my first episode. I look at wild crimes from all across the country that you might not know about. Let's get to it. First up is an outrageous story out of Louisiana. A well-known rapper is locked up and he's accused of attacking a woman and it's not the first time he's had run-ins with the law. The Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office says 51-year-old rapper Michael Mystical Tyler, now Tyler, his stage name is Mystical, he's facing charges of allegedly choking a woman and sexually assaulting her in late July. A report from the Advocate newspaper says the rapper thought the victim stole his money when she stopped by his house on the night of the attack. He allegedly beat the woman and then poured rubbing alcohol on her to rid her of, quote, bad spirits. Investigators took Tyler into custody after the victim reported the attack and identified him at a local hospital. Mystical is facing 10 charges, including felony charges of rape and robbery. He's being held without bond. Now let's go to a couple of bizarre stories out of Riverside, California that happened in the same week. A 21-year-old man is accused of stealing hundreds of gallons of gas using a skimmer. And another guy in the same city? Well, he went on a crime spree that started with a home invasion and ended with a police chase on a highway in an Amazon delivery truck. You have to see it to believe it. Check this out. Air one, we're with you guys, we'll call it. All right, he's going over to the center divider. Unit C on the right side, we got it for you. Wrong side of the road. Crashing into cars and reckless driving on the road. This police chase is just part of an erratic crime spree that started on July 25th at a Riverside, California trailer park. Police say this man, 32-year-old Quentin Jarnell Larks, committed two home invasion robberies on Atlanta Avenue, then fled. And get this, while police were in the process of responding to the 911 call about the robberies, they discovered the same suspect also carjacked an Amazon delivery truck and took off. The stolen Amazon truck was located through GPS tracking and the chase was on. And here's another thing, while police were taking reports about the robberies, they got new 911 calls about the same delivery truck crashing into cars on a nearby freeway. The truck finally stopped and Larks took off on foot across the freeway and tried to climb a wall to escape with no luck and was finally arrested. He was booked into the Robert Presley Detention Center and is facing attempted murder, home invasion, DUI, and other charges. He's being held on a $1 million bail. We all know that gas prices are high in California, and 21-year-old Christian Gomez Sobrianas is accused of going to some extreme measures to get it. Riverside police say the suspect allegedly pumped 400 gallons of diesel gas into a super-sized container on his truck bed at a local gas station, and that put work workers on high alert. It turns out there was also a credit card skimmer on the pump. Then investigators say he allegedly came back later the same day and went back to the exact same pump and was in the process of stealing 300 more gallons. Then he got caught. The container on the bed of the white pickup was covered with a tarp, but that clearly didn't work. The suspect was arrested and booked on grand theft charges and has a $10,000 bail. As for the truck, it's at the impound lot. All right, Riverside, I need to keep an eye on you. Now to a deadly fishing trip in southeast Oklahoma where a man ended up dead because of a threat made about Bigfoot. Yep, I said Bigfoot. Last month, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation was called in to investigate Larry Sanders. According to NBC News, Sanders told police he beat and strangled his friend Jerry Knighton to death during a noodling trip. Noodling is basically when people catch fish with their bare hands, in case you didn't know. Now this is where it gets even more strange. Investigators say Sanders allegedly got upset because his friend threatened to feed him to Bigfoot and killed him out of fear of the mythical creature. Knighton's body was later found near the South Canadian River. First degree murder charges were filed in the case and Sanders was booked into the Pontotoc County Jail. 
Now to the missing. Take a good look at these pictures of Ariana Fitz, Ashley Heavy Runner Loring, and Enrique Rios. And here's a small dose of good news out of San Diego before I go. 17-year-old Adrian Rodriguez found a lost purse in a grocery store parking lot. And get this, he hand-delivered it back to the owner's front door with cash and everything inside. He didn't expect anything in return, but word of his good deeds started to spread. And a GoFundMe page was started by the purse owner. Now it has hundreds of donors and has raised over $18,000. All of it to simply show appreciation for the new high school graduate who is simply doing the right thing. So far, Adrian has bought himself a new car and he's saving the rest of that cash for a rainy day. That's some good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow the Intrigued Full Effect website for updates. And remember, if there's something happening in your area that you want me to cover, drop me a line. Until next time, be safe and stay true.